as the Jefferson County School District prepares to close more schools at the end of this school year. Schools that remain open are working to welcome hundreds of new students. Yeah, I learned that's presented a unique set of issues that the Denver Foundation wants to help alleviate. Here are your solutions. Since 2021, 21 schools have closed in the Jefferson County School District due to low enrollment. This is not a good process for anybody. It's a necessary process, unfortunately. Dale Monholland is a Pomona High School teacher. More middle school will be closing this year, and those students will be coming to Pomona next year. Monholland is also the Jefferson County Education Association vice president and says he knows the closures are necessary but the transitions are tough. Class sizes are going to increase from what they have been in the past. And then uh, there's t uh, room constraints within buildings, not enough room for, um, for materials and for classrooms. Denver Foundation Program Officer David Portillo says his organization wants to ease the transition. We're very excited to be able to help eight schools in Jefferson County that are welcoming schools. The Denver Foundation is offering grants of up to $5,000 to Jeffco schools welcoming more students. Portillo says the grants can be used for family engagement activities or wraparound services. What do wraparound services look like? Summer programming, uh, mental health support, um, food access. So whatever the community wants to do, really, we don't want to dictate. We want to follow their energy. So I'm very uh, happy and encouraged to hear that, that, that uh, the Denver Foundation is is um, wanting to do that. When Holland says whether it's money, resources, or volunteering, he and other educators are grateful to receive help from anyone in a position to give. The Denver Foundation says if there are other Jeffco schools that could use grant support, they can reach out to the foundation and we do have a link up right now on Denver7.com.